Hey everybody, and welcome back to Binary Adventure. So today I'm gonna to do something a little bit different, and I'm going to go over a different type of tool. And um, this is going to be a note-taking, outlining, and general thought collection tool. Um, as you probably know, when you're doing you know, work in uh, the security field or the programming field, you need to be able to jot down ideas. In fact, I think you need to do that in almost any field. Um, especially in professional jobs. You need to be able to, you know, collect your thoughts if you need to do a presentation or if you're taking notes when you watched a video or if you just need to, you know, brainstorm about something. Um, now, what I would do in the past before I discovered this tool is I would use, you know, something like Notepad or Vim. Um, I actually don't use Windows as much anymore now, so... Um, I'm mostly a Linux user and I use Vim a lot, but since I'm on Windows right now, you know, typically let's say I wanted to, you know, jot down like some pros and cons of the C programming language, right? I would be like, you know, pros and cons of C, you know, if I want to do markdown, I might do like hash that for a heading and then asterisk, um, or I, maybe I do like double hash pros and then, you know, asterisk, um, it is simple to learn and then okay so let's say um, I want to kind of expand on that I would do another asterisk and I would say um, it has relatively few number of constructs right because at this point I'm just jotting down ideas don't even have to be complete sentences or, or grammatically correct right so um, and then maybe another pro it is capable of outputting very performant uh, binaries. And, you know, and then we'll start with maybe some cons. Um, it is easy to shoot yourself in the foot. And then maybe we'll mention, you know, undefined behavior. We'll mention off by one errors. We'll mention um, dangling pointers and so on, right? So that wasn't too difficult, but it definitely could be better. And um, for this type of stuff, um, you know, and it's it's interesting because this is almost like an outline. But to me, when I think, if I'm just brainstorming or trying to collect my thoughts about something, I usually do it in a sort of outline format. And so there's this tool called uh, Indigrid. And I believe it's officially an outliner, um, but it it's it can be used for all kinds of things. It's kind of like a it's almost like a notepad, but specifically for writing outlines, taking notes, and uh, you know collecting your thoughts. And it's pretty unique because the first thing I want to mention is that when you want to save this here, you'd have to go to File, Save As, and save it as a document. Just hit Control S, right? Well, Indigrid's a little bit different. Um, if you go to file on Indigrid, you'll notice that you don't have that option. And that's because it it auto saves everything for you in a database file. So when you start Indigrid, you can just die right in immediately, um, basically as fast as you can type, and you can start jotting down notes. Now, why does that matter? I don't know, you know, I don't know your specific use cases for it, but for me, especially now that you know everything's being done online, I actually find the the ability to jump right into a tool like this pretty valuable because you know I'm going to Zoom meetings I'm going to Blue Jeans calls and um, you know people will just start chatting with me and they'll be telling me information quickly and it's like oh crap I need to I need to jot some notes down like right now and so you know if I have to go to a tool that takes forever to load takes forever to start up and then I have to like click new and you know I don't want to deal with all that I want to just be able to jump right into and, and get going and sometimes you have a thought too you know like maybe you're brainstorming a new business uh, proposal or something and you just and you know you, you have a bunch of distractions going on your phone's ringing you just need to write it down quickly so uh, I really value that about Indigrid that um, it starts right up there's no like splash screens and loading and all that stuff and you don't even have to open up and load the file right it's boom it's there 
So you might be wondering then, like, how do you actually save things separately? And I mean, you can just add nodes. So, you know, outlines is my root node here. And then um, you can just add different things under um, in, in various areas. So for example, let's say I want to start jotting stuff down. Uh, let's say I want to start jotting stuff down in the area of user input validation. So first of all, I'm using the mouse right now, but I don't actually prefer to use the mouse. So what I'm going to do is shift over to the keyboard. So I use my arrow keys like this, and it's very fast, very Vim-like, right? It's very responsive. You can, you can hear it. You can see it. There's no lag here. Very fast, right? So if I want to go into user input validation, um, all I have to do is hold uh, control down, and that expands the area. So here it says, uh, the first bullet here is, where does the program accept input from the user? or other applications? Are these inputs validated on the client side against requirements? Are these inputs validated on the server side against requirements? Are these inputs validated the database against requirements where applicable? And then you can see here, this plus right here is just indicating that we have um, you know, another node that we can expand on. So again, we hold control, we press down, and then there we go. So it's just like nested bullets, essentially. Um, and I find this bulleted um, this bulleted format I, is almost universal for me whenever I'm taking notes and when I'm outlining because it allows me to, to keep ideas organized in uh, without having to write complete sentences. So it's ideal uh, for note taking for me. So and thought organization. So um, so you can see how responsive that was. Now, if you want to collapse it, it's very intuitive. You just hold Control, press up. So Control down expands. Control up collapses. Right. Control down, uh, expands, control up, collapses, right? So um, very easy to do. And what's amazing about it too is, you know, when you go on a Vim, you got to start going on YouTube and looking at tutorials. Um, and, you know, when you go into many other programs, at the very least, you have to like kind of hunt for these hotkeys. You have to press edit, look at the menu here. And then it's like, okay, wait. And then you're like, oh, I forgot. And you have to go edit and look at the menu again. But see, what I like about uh, Integrated is that he has the hotkeys down here. Um, the most common hotkeys are right here. So if you forgot, look, expand, control down, control up. Um, you know, move up uh, is control, shift up, control, shift down. So what do you mean by move up? So let's try this. Control, shift up, see? So we can reorder our items here real easily. And it's just very intuitive. It's flows really well, right? Boom. So, and then open in column left, open column right. So what that does is it will actually, uh, so let's just try it out. So open in column to right, control R, right? So see what it did here is it took this and it expanded it and opened it over here so that we could actually, um, you know, we could work on it over here or we could work on it over here and it's, it kind of segregates it out. So, and then another feature I want to show you is this actionable and completed. So that's useful for like a to-do list. So let's say I want to make a to-do list here. Um, let's just say I want to make a to-do list. So I'm just going to say to-do list, right? Um, boom. So I'm under my to-do list. So what I did there, so what happened here is under my outlines uh, root node here, I made a, a, a node called to-do list uh, or a bullet called to-do list, whatever you prefer. <laughs> node sounds kind of programming and, and nerdy, but um, kind of the same thing. So I made uh, the to-do list and I hit enter. And you'll see here like it, this area is kind of grayed out, but you could still see it. It's 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 transparent, but um, it's kind of grayed out, and it, it it draws your focus to the area you're working, which I really like because right now, with all there's a lot of these apps nowadays, and they're just so distracting. You know, there, there's flashy stuff popping up everywhere. There's ads, you know. There's like click thing, like things uh, trying to get your attention to click. There's splash screens, and it's like, you know, when you're thinking about something and trying to organize your thoughts, you don't want all those kinds of distractions, you know, like, because you could forget. You could forget what you had in mind, right? Um, and so Integrate is really good at drawing your focus. So it grays out this area here. So I typed in 
to-do list, I hit enter, and now I'm under to-do list. So I'm not actually going to add anything under to-do list unless I now press tab. See, and then you can see as soon as I press tab, so let me go back. See, when I press tab, now I'm adding something under the to-do list, right? So, you know, um, I'm going to say, uh, write some x86-64 assembly language this Sunday. Finish reading uh, Linux kernel development book. So um, now what I want to show you is, so what I did is I just made these regular uh, items in integrate here. However, um, what I want to show you now is, so at any given point I can press up and down arrow keys. So I, now I'm highlighted, I've highlighted this one here, right? So um, it says that I can outdent, indent, Finish editing is Control Enter. So if I want to if I want to enter or exit this uh, editing mode, I can hit Control Enter, right? So now you can see um, everything else is now kind of in the spotlight. Now again, it's not focused anymore. And I want to show you that um, what this actionable is Control Shift Space. See, it just puts a couple of um, square brackets and Control Shift Space. So now as I get things done. I can just hit control space and I check things off my to-do list and it's very it's very simple and I mean it's not even using any sort of like gif or image it's literally just placing like an ASCII X between some some um, you know square brackets but it works and this is what I would do or someone might do in notepad or you know there are similar things you can do in like markdown right um, but it's just this this application is so responsive I love it it, it, it'll keep up with me like let's just go and, and just let's just test it a little bit here see so I'm gonna say like feed my elephant take out the trash go to the hardware store right like I mean there's no lag here like this thing works really really well um, and then you know if I want to remove something um, let me go ahead and hit control enter here there we go. So if I want to, if I want to remove something, I can just hit delete on the item and it's gone, right? And super simple as that. But what's cool also is Integrate also has this really rich undo feature, which he just has it down as uh, Control Z. So simple enough, right? Boom! Now they're back. <laughs> so we have the undo, and then we actually have the redo. Um, so what happened here when I was when I was editing this take out the trash? If you hit delete here, obviously it's going to just delete some text. But when you, once you've uh, hit Control Enter to finish editing, now when you hit delete, it's going to delete the bullet points, right? And, and I hit, hit Control Z, which is sort of the universal undo on Windows at least. And boom, there we go. And what's cool about Integrid is is that I can actually. Um, I can actually undo across application sessions. So let me try this. I'm going to say, I'm just going to delete tut the trash. And I believe this should work where um, I want to just fire up integrate again. And then I hit control Z and boom. See that? <laughs> so, and also, you notice how fast integrate started? It was instant instant instantaneous starting right um, so let's let's just do that again I'm, I'm gonna get rid of fed my elephant since I misspelled that so delete I'm gonna hit alt f4 to close I'm gonna go back here window key integrate boom split second started control Z boom fed my elephant it's back right so see there's no need to load files you don't have to you know save as you don't have to do um, you know and you can undo um, it keeps a running history, kind of like Git or something, right? So you can undo across different sessions, which is really cool. So um, again, I just want to to clarify. I mean, there's different ways of doing this, but um, what you can do is you can have like a a master root node like this, and then these each one of these like bug bounty programming to do list. These essentially can be your documents, for lack of a better term. So what you would usually save in a file, you could just place in, uh, you know, one of these like little subroot node things here. 
So, you know, um, that's how you could sort of organize all of your content without having to worry about opening and closing files. Um, and let's see what happens when I do just, just for, just for fun. I'm going to say open and column to the right again for the to-do list now. So, oh, look, check this out. So now I have three columns here. <laughs> so it's, it's pretty cool. You know, you could, you can have different panes. You could be working in different columns. Um, there's a lot of stuff you could do with this thing. I might even cover some, some other things in a future video, but this should get you started. It's pretty basic. Um, Easy to easy to get uh, up and running with, and you have your hotkeys. The most important hotkeys down here. Um, you can do filter, do a search, basically. So I hope you enjoy this video. I love this thing, um, and I use it for basically all my note taking uh, on Windows. So the only that's the only drawback right now is is that it's not available for any platform other than Windows. Um, however. Um, I think that hopefully that will change the tie of the future. <laughs> All right. So thanks for watching and uh, don't forget to subscribe and uh, see you next time.